passing I remember yo if you remember me hello friends welcome to 7 minute study in this video i am going to talk about two important properties of an artificially intelligent agent those are rational behavior and omniscience what are those first let's talk about an rational agent if every entry in the agent function is filled correctly then the agent will always do the right thing right because based on whatever it takes in from the environment as a perception it will produce the right output always okay so such an agent is called a rational agent it will never take a wrong decision doing the right thing makes the agent more successful some methods which are used to measure the success of rational agent exist in the uh, prolog and other agent programs we can uh, while directly while directly taking the making the decisions we can measure the accuracy of this decision the agent will be sure of its accuracy like it will after taking a uh, turn towards right it will say that this uh, is the 90% accurate decision mm, as uh, if we take left uh, left side it's a more accident prone area So when an agent is working in the environment it generates a sequence of actions according to the perceived sequence it receives this sequence of actions leads to various states of the environment as at every state there will be certain differences of the uh, stages of the environment like if we move towards left we just hit the wall so what will be the change in the environment the agent will be destroyed the agent here is nothing but the car okay if we are going on a road if we take a left turn and we have a wall or it, there's a dead end on the left uh, left side and yet we take a left uh, left uh, turn will be crashing with the wall so what will be happening there will be destruction in the agents or uh, the other resources present in the environment so that's what is known as the changes in the states of environment that is that makes existence of various states of the environment possible if the sequences of environment state change is desirable then we can say that the agent has performed well that is if the changes produced in the environment are what the uh, person or the or the what do we say a researcher uh, expecting some correct output from the machine then the then the agent is said to be rational so uh, if tasks and the environment change automatically measuring conditions will change and hence there is no fixed measure suitable for all changes in the agents decisions that's what a rational behavior means okay so it is better to design performance measures according to what one wants in the environment rather than according to how one thinks the agent should behave that is uh, the agent can do whatever it wants to get to the right destination we just want to give the destination to the agent and we give complete independence to the agent based on how it can pro proceed uh, to get to that destination so the rationality depends on four major things uh, basically the those are the performance measure that defines the criterion of success the agent's prior knowledge about the environment the actions that agent can perform the agent's perceived sequences till date as it affects the experience of the agent about or from its environment so what's a good agent and a bad agent so good agent and bad agent is nothing but uh, it's based on the good and bad behaviors of the uh, agents uh, of the agents based upon its environmental effects okay that is nothing but based on the performance we judge whether whether an agent is good or bad and if an environment is completely known then we get agents good behavior and if the environment is unknown it's obvious that we might get a bad behavior of the agent good and bad uh, means nothing but rational and irrational behavior rational behavior is obtained if we have complete knowledge or a very good knowledge about its environment if the agent is having a very good knowledge about its environment then only it can take accurate or very proper decisions right 
that's what it is meant by good and bad agents it's nothing but the behavior of an agent based upon its knowledge of the environment so let's understand the flow or the optical performance triangle of an agent this is shown as below the agent's performance can be shown or depicted as uh, like this the flow goes like this agents performs uh, actions or tasks in this flow the agent first couples the, with the complete environment based on the total knowledge about the environment next it per, it perceives uh, or it receives a perceptive sequence which is generated by the optical sequence of actions then rational uh, result or uh, into desired sequence of states in the environment and then optical or right decision or right action or behavior can be observed in the environment and if it is what or the desired change of the person or a machine who which is operating with the uh, agent then that is known as a, the rational action or the rational behavior so this is this is this depicts what is a good agent and a bad agent respectively a good agent is nothing but where the agent uh, knows the com has complete knowledge about its environment and it results in the rational behavior so the bad agent is nothing but it has partial or incomplete or unknown environment knowledge so what happens here will get some irrational behavior or the decisions will be taken or the decisions make uh, which are taken uh, might be wrong what's an omniscience uh, what's omniscience basically uh, an omniscient agent know, knows the actual outcome of its actions and can act accordingly but in reality omniscience is not possible right uh, it, the agent cannot know what it has to do uh, I mean what it will produce or what change it will make uh, exactly in the environment like rationality is not same as perfection rationality maximizes the expected performance whereas perfection ma maximizes the actual performance right so rationality just maximizes the perf uh, just the performance expected performance is maximized here uh, which perf uh, maximizes um, the actual performance whereas in perfection which is obtained by the omniscience agent omniscient agent here it's different from a rational agent as the omniscient agent will be knowing whatever has to, what will be happening uh, by its action to the environment so that what uh, it will produce the accurate or the very perfect uh, output it's not always possible so for increasing performance agent must do some actions in order to modify future perfect uh, percepts this is known as uh, information gathering which is an important part of rationality okay uh, this is how rationality and perfection or the omniscience can be differentiated we have uh, rationality which is depending on the sequence of percepts it maximizes the except, uh, expected performance whereas here in perfection it does not depend on the sequence of percept as we don't need any sequence of percept because the agent always or actually knows what's it's what's going to happen with its, with its environment so it it improvises or it maximizes the actual performance whereas here the expected performance might be improved here we say that 90% accurate decisions will be taken here 100% accurate changes or accurate decisions will be taken thanks for watching the video please share it with your friends thank you